hi and welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to be going back to basics which means if you want to get a job in the uk what do you need i mean it seems really simple and very obvious but this is something that many people are struggling with and what i'm seeing is people are taking spending a lot of time to focus on things that are not really going to help them that much in getting a job so what exactly do you need that's what we're going to talk about so if you're new to my channel you're welcome if you haven't joined this family take this opportunity now to hit the subscribe button below so that you're the first person to be notified every single day when i drop a new video on here at 10 a.m prompt uk time I dedicate my time, energy, resources, experience, knowledge, and everything to make sure that you're the first person to be informed about all these opportunities. So that's why you should hit the subscribe button. Also, if you're not aware, I do have a free newsletter. I've dropped the link in the comment section below where I share information about visa sponsorship opportunities to move to the UK, career progression opportunities in the UK, because it's not just about getting here. It only starts, you know, the whole process really only begins once you get here. So what else do you need to do? How do you progress from A to B? You know, are you going to stay stuck in the same position? I hope not. Because if you're watching my videos, then that's not going to be the case. And so you should join my newsletter, obviously, in the comment section. So I send that info directly to your inbox. You're also going to find my contact details on there. There's my WhatsApp number as well as my email address. So that if you need that one-to-one -one tailored, individualized and personalized guidance, then you can get in contact with me directly. And so, like we were saying, what are the things that you need in order to get a job? The first thing is you need to assess your personal circumstances because no two people are the same. Each and every one of us is unique, is different. We've got different skill sets, different qualifications, different experiences, a different level of knowledge and all of that. I'm saying this because... In my coaching program, I deal with so many different types of people. And what I've seen is everyone is different. There are some people that join my program and they're like, hey, I'm a doctor. I'm looking for this, this, this. And you think, oh, that's going to be really easy for them to get a concept. But guess what? They've got no clue. Then you get another person who joins the program. They've never worked. They've got no experience. Maybe they're just an entrepreneur or they're not even working at all. You explain things and they're like, oh, spot on. They get it really quick and fast. So you need to understand who are you, you know, and then what sort of jobs can you apply? Because no two jobs are the same in the UK. And this is the danger from YouTube videos. When you're watching YouTube videos, you need to be very careful because that information, like what I'm sharing now, is not tailored to a particular person. This is just a generic video and I've got no idea who's going to be watching. And so, by the way, do leave a comment in the comment section and say, Melvis, I will implement this. Because if you follow these simple, practical steps and tips that I'm giving you, look, you're going to succeed. It may take time because I always say that this is not a process that is a quick win that you're like hey in one day you're gonna do all of this no it takes time but it's about consistency life is about consistency when you're consistent you have that compound effect that after a while you're gonna be like a pro in applying for jobs in the uk and that's when you're going to progress because it's not just about getting one job it's about progressing from that one job and that's how you build on that knowledge and you continue to add more layers of intelligence on top of what you already have that's how you want to be not that you're stuck so once you've looked at your situation and then you say okay for example i've got two kids i've got a husband or i've got a wife i want to move with them to the uk or if you're in the uk the same thing you know what are the best jobs for me that's what you do you know that is the assessment that you have to make and they look at your qualifications and they say okay which jobs in the uk actually offer sponsorship that's going to be your next thing when you look at those jobs and mind you when you're looking at this don't be stuck on your qualifications in the uk they value knowledge they value experience they value enthusiasm rather than qualifications many of us come from countries where qualifications are everything you come out you're like hey i've got a phd and they'll give you the top position. In the UK, it does not work. And that's why you have many people that are PhD holders. And guess what? They are just doing like cleaning in the UK. Many of them are actually jobless. And some of them are doing all sorts of jobs that don't require any experience or any qualifications. Because what they are looking at is your skill. What can you do? But most importantly, what is it that we need? Because if you have a lot of knowledge experience and skill in a sector that they don't need let me tell you no one is interested 
in you and your skills. I know that this is tough love, but guess what? <laughs> Many people need it because I deal with lots of people and they're like, hey, Melvis, this is my experience. These are my qualifications. This is who I am. You know, I've got this, this, this. And I'm like, look, they don't offer sponsorship in this particular sector, which means that despite your qualifications, you're brand new to the other sector. But this is where something really powerful happens. And by the way, do me a favor and share this video with your friends, loved ones, colleagues, so that they're aware of this, because this may seem really trivial, but guess what? It is going to change their lives. If you follow the things that I'm talking about, <laughs> guess what? It works. Like I say, it takes time doing things the right way. It takes time and many people are not patient. So I know that Less than 1% of people will implement the things I'm talking about. I know that, and that's absolutely fine. I mean, that is how life is. Very few of us will succeed because of this particular reason. And so that is why you should share this so that if you know somebody who's part of the top 1%, then they are welcome to watch this video and implement the things I'm talking about. And by the way, I've gone through all these processes myself, having started as a carer to now working as an advanced nurse practitioner, which is the most senior clinical nursing position, you know, in the profession. And so I have my private career coaching program as well. If you're keen to check it out, check the description box below or the about section on this channel and you'll see more information about the program. And like I say, if you're part of the top 1% and you need that one-to-one -one guidance, you need me to go through this process with you, then do feel free to join. If you need to know exactly what is in it for you, check the comment section below and contact me directly. you see my WhatsApp number as well as my email address so that if you've got any questions, because I know many people don't do all this online thing. They're like, hey, Melvis, I need to talk to you. You know, what is it? And you need to ask lots of questions. I mean, that's fine. You can do that as well. So that's what it is about. And so when you're assessing your circumstances after that, it's going to lead beautifully to your transferable skills look and this is where you can really use your qualifications and your experience from other sectors to really really stand out within your application what experiences have you had and how have these experiences really helped you that's where the cv and the supporting information for nhs jobs that's where they are like that's gold that's a gold mine and by the way i do have a specific program in my coaching program a specific plan that is for people that want nhs jobs and that comes with sample for supporting information so that you're not starting from zero because i know many people struggle and they're like hey melvis you know what am i supposed to write i've got no idea i've got all this experience but guess what i've got no words so when you choose that option in my coaching program it comes with a sample i support you with the whole process so that you're not starting from zero but you've got a sample to look at to see what it is supposed to look like so that it helps you with your own journey and that's why one-to-one -one support makes all of the difference because it's not generalized information on youtube where i don't know who is watching and all of that by the way if you enjoyed this content hit the like button below so that i know that you enjoy content like this and obviously I should do more. So again, all of that assessment is coming down to your CV. It is not about doing more courses, getting more certificates, more qualifications. Mm -mm. It's about the job, the CV, the application. That's what you need to work on. If you're spending 99% of your time, it should be on that. And guess what? It's not just about copy and paste. It's knowing what you need to do because ultimately when you go to the interview, you better know what that job is about because if you don't, it's going to be so tough because not only do you want to get the interview, but you also want to be successful. So you need to be working on all these different things concurrently. This is what I advocate for. So again, check out this video that I've linked up here with more information for you. And you've got questions, comment section below.